We're here at the stash, Killington's only organic ski rail park. We're getting ready to hit the stash with the dark side crew. This guy's talking about stashes. Not that kind of stash, Bob. No, come on. Not that I'm always at the stash. I got a great one. You see my stash? It's pretty magnificent. Nothing compared to this stash, though. The stash is all natural wood, baby! The stash at Killington's the only park on the East Coast that's all organic. We got natural rocks, natural trees, natural wood. <laughs> stash, baby, the stash. Remember that, girls. When you're trying to be sexy for boys, too much tanning isn't sexy. It's all natural, baby. Stash at Killington. to bounce out of here but coming up next Steve Hayes is going to show us how to prep our boards for the new season. What you want is a nice smooth edge with no nicks from any rocks. This is called deburring the edge right here. You're watching Steven TV. I'm Cameron Audet. I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bad kid, I can't get up! <laughs> that jacket keeping you warm? Yeah, dude, this jacket, That's I just got nice. this today. It is an oven. It is the best jacket for being up on the summit. Penfield, P-E-N-F-I-E-L-D. Registered. Scope this shit up. Look at pockets everywhere. I can put six packs of soda in here and candy and anything I want to keep warm. <laughs> Got a little bit of rust on here from letting it sit all summer. So what I'm going to do is try and clean off some of that rust. Um, we're going to do what we call as a flat file. And you place it right on the board. And you take it down like that. Take the rust right off. You're taking this all in, Cam. Hold it with the file just like that. You can feel it when it grabs. Yeah, exactly. Now we're going to do what's called a side file. And the idea is to get the edge as square as possible. And that way it carves into the snow. Sometimes 
people don't like you, they'll put some peanut butter on your edges and really slow you down in the morning. Mr. Potato Head, it's not how I told you to hold the file. Do it like this. Uh oh. And don't don't roll over the edge like that, but keep it right here. Alright, Cam's got it now. So now we've got it nice and sharp, and what we're gonna do is take our stone again and deburr it. What you want is a nice smooth edge with no nicks from any rocks. This is called deburring the edge right here. Where can you pick up tools like this? Um, these type of tools you can pick up anywhere um, from a hardware store to your local snowboard shop, like a dark side snowboard shop. Now I'm gonna take you into uh, what we call hot waxing the board. Make sure you steal your iron from mom and uh, just give it a little wipe down before you put it back in the shelf so that she doesn't ruin her favorite dress. Steve knows from experience, kids. He knows from experience. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this is a regular household iron. You wanna have um, your, the base of your board saturated with wax. So you just press the wax against the iron and yeah, yeah, them. yeah. You're just dripping it on. Yeah. And then we're, what we're doing here is we're just kind of rubbing this in on a circular motion and rub it, rub it away. Wax on, wax off, ladies. And now we're gonna do what's um, called scraping the board. We'll scrape the excess wax off so that it doesn't build up and stick to the board. And the way we're doing that is just take it down like that. In the springtime. When the snow's really wet and it sticks all the time, one of the ways you can treat that is by taking a saw blade, a hacksaw blade, and actually put this to the base. What this will allow us to do is texture the base so that it breaks the suction and the board will go a little bit faster when you're going down. And the way you do that is just quickly one little sweep like that, and that textures the base so it puts tiny little lines and grooves in there which allows the water to wick away from the board. This is one of the boards Steve that we're riding today and boy we nicked it good. Look at the rock. Um, one of the ways of fixing that is you can go and have it uh, professionally done with a P-Tex or plastic welder or you could pick up a stick of P-Tex and do what we're going to do which is uh, light the P-Tex and do it uh, with a hot drip. And this is going to be called a P-Tex repair. This is a um, a stick of P-Tex you can buy at any snowboard shop. Um, Dark Side up at Killington, I think, sells these, this type of P-Tex. We're gonna heat it up and let it get hot and drip it into this this, group, this crack. And... You are a pyro? Wow. I've got some I just pornographic like... instincts too. Pyro, not porno. Uh, oh. You're gonna let that set up and, uh, and let this dry, let it cool off, and then we'll take a scraper and we'll scrape that clean. And then you can go ahead and hot wax the board and uh, you won't feel that mark anymore. Take a little time, take care of your equipment. It ensures for a much better day when you're out there riding um, and you're blown by your buddies because you've got wax and they don't. Like I say, you know, enough about talking about these boards. Let's get up and ride them. Yeah, I say we wrap it up. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, Steve's and rocks. Thanks for tuning in. That about wraps up this episode. We're on Mount Washington at the base of Tuckerman's Ravine. We just did an EMS avalanche training course, and you'll see footage from that in our next episode. Check out Steezen.tv for all the extras and lost footage, and special thanks to Penfield for keeping us warm.